Hey everybody and welcome back to Cyberpunk TV. I spent a little bit of time researching between this episode and the last episode and I found out that one of the four workstations that was connected to the core workstation, number eight, is, if we probe it, not locked down like the others. So we're not exactly in um, home free here because we do have to uh, trace kill and do a bunch of stuff and hack through this, but this one is not locked down and prevented uh, from accessing like the others. So let's overload the port, let's overload the proxy, let's disable the firewall. Oops, sorry about that. I'm still getting used to having this console on the left again. I used to love it and now I don't like it as much because I don't know where to look. We'll get through this. I always do the, ugh, there, sorry. X, Y, L, 4, G, A. Is it gonna work? Yeah, it's not case sensitive, that's super nice. All right, are you guys ready? We gotta do this fast. 22, web, and port 80. And then, um, I forgot how to do the medical services one. I know I can, I just forgot what the command for it is. Um, hold on one second. We're gonna have to trace kill after this so that I can figure that out. I haven't used that one for a bit. For a minute, help. Um, which one lists all the binaries? I saw it in here before. Um, there's currently one in processes. Mm, help. To cat boot replace analyze solve exit yeah do this one um i'm looking for port test all right so we're gonna do kb t port test on 104 and then we're gonna close that and activate that bless you there we go Ugh. I don't use that that medical one very often, but we'll see. All right, come on, give me your secrets. There. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I don't have memory for that. I actually need to port hack. Sorry, port hack. And then we're gonna get ready to chase kill as soon as it comes up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ugh. The password, the password found dialogue is what kills me every time. Alright. Suppression active. Let's check it out. What do we got going on? Um, got some logs. Some nothing in binaries. Nothing out of the ordinary sister. Uh. Ha 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 ha. Some girl just came onto our floor and was yelling sexual favors for anyone who does my sociology paper. I just asked her what the paper was about. She said, the accomplishments and growth of feminism. No, okay. I do not agree with that joke, but I will read it for your entertainment. There's a 23% drop in temperature. That's almost 25%. That was one of the most worthless comments I've ever heard. I do, however, support that joke. <laughs> Is there any way I could tell the world I'm an idiot? Oh yeah, no, 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 no. We already did the, we already did the idiot one. Uh-oh, that's a bad sound, everybody. Hold on, I need to come right back. Just give me a second. Okay, sorry about that. That uh, that noise, every time that noise happens, that is my on-call alarm for work, which means I just got called in, even though it's the weekend. Um, it's not a big deal. I dealt with it, and so for you guys, it seems like nothing happened, but for me, it was in fact, I dealt with the problem and came back. So, let's read this log. So you hacking me then, huh? Well, I got news for you, mister. I got more firewall powers now, so I'm secure, and I'm using Windows 98, so I'm really secure from hackers like you. You better just give up, because you got no hope, mister. Quit. Has joined. Help, my mouse is losing the moving by itself. Uh, okay, that is dumb. Uh, okay, so my neighbors officially hate me. Uh, why? 
Well, me, David, and Andrew were having a bonfire in the backyard, and we were making s'mores and all, and then suddenly there are sirens, and we hear a fire truck turn into the street in front of us. So we all went running to see what was up, and our neighbor's house was on fire. Oh, shit. Yeah, when we got there, the wife was crying into her husband's arms, and we were just kind of standing there. And when she saw us, for like ten seconds, she gave us the dirtiest look ever. Turns out, we were still holding our sticks with marshmallows on it and watching the fire. Talk about bad timing. Oh, that one, that's, that's rough. That's some black humor. I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. All right, let's look in the workstation for her. We've got the Hacknet Core DLL, which I don't know if we need, and then all of this stuff. Um, all right, well, let's take this for sure. I don't know if it's useful, but we're just going to take everything, because why the hell not? Um, what is Prometheus.txt? Just a password? All right. Take that. Asset packs. What is this store serve IPs? Oh, Prometheus in progress development. So that must have been the project that Bit was working on. Romulus and Prometheus. All right, well, we're taking that too. Um, CP. Man, my typing is so bad tonight. All right. Do we need any of this other stuff? Uh, oh, hey, I just downloaded the wrong text. As per our talk, here's the written permission to keep the stream on your desktop open. As we discussed, save a copy of this locally to show everyone question if anyone questions you on it. If they don't believe you, send them to me. To others reading it, the operator of the workstation 008, Mr. Giuliani, has a serious heart condition. Software will help him monitor streams and his data on his workstation, which we've assisted to set him up so he can keep track of his condition in case of an emergency. We've gotten to do exceptional efforts to help Mr. Giuliani put in a place here as part of our new workplace diversity plan. Further issues with this group. Okay, so the reason we're able to exploit this guy and ruin his entire career is because he has a heart condition, which makes me feel super bad, but I'm not going to have to worry about it anymore. All right, so let's get the heck out of here. So we don't need this anymore, and we don't need this anymore, and we don't need that anymore. So let's go back to our home computer, and let's look at the file system. Log, ooh, God, our logs are awful. Um, here we go. We need these ones. N nope, how about this one? All right, so let's add a note for Prometheus. I'm gonna be one, five, six. One five one 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 one. Okay, and then Romulus. Uh, shoot, it's. I'm just gonna click the add note button. There is a command to just add notes, but it's easier to just do that. Five one one twelve. Also, I put a comma in there because I'm very bad at typing. All right, cool. Then this one is. All right, so we got those two. Let's go and investigate those, although we do have a password. Um, let's write down that password too while we're here. Um, not Hacknut Core, Prometheus password. D88VANNX. Bless you. All right, um, cool. Okay, so we've got that. I don't know if that'll actually help us, but it seems hella sketchy and suspicious, so. Let's go to the Prometheus server and see if we can use that before we go to the other one. Invulnerability detected. Can we just log in? I mean, D88 B A N N X. All right, never mind. Um, let's probe it. We got going on here. Invulnerability detected. So let's go to the Romulus server. Connect one. Five six one fifty one one twelve. Viability detected also. Well, I don't really know. Hmm. hmm. All right, let's try logging in here, maybe. Uh, D88V 
a n n x nothing all right probe this one what do we got going on yeah inviability also okay so this was the password for prometheus so i've got to be able to do something with that let's connect back to that one let's uh probe the file system again and look at this so we need a uh, basically infinite version of all the ports to get in and we need this so i should be able to get in here though shouldn't i did i do it wrong is it d 88 v a capital and x no it's not into it hmm This is not correct. Admin, maybe? I don't know. Them just shooting super duper in the dark here. Never mind. All right, let's probe it. And let's see what we got here. We've got a whole bunch of interesting things. Hmm. Did I type that password wrong? Maybe I did. Hold on. Let's go back to my PC. Let's go here. Home. Prometheus. D V or D eighty eight V A N N N X. Oh, X is supposed to be capitalized. Get out of here. D eighty eight V A N N X with a capital N. All right. Um. Then let's connect back to Prometheus. 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 Romulus and Remus. Um. Yeah. This is awful. I should not play this game when I am tired. Okay. Let's log in. I'm just going to assume the username is admin. I don't have any evidence to tell me that, but I'm going to do it. V-A-N-N-X, capital. Da. okay. Cool. So I'm the administrator now. So it doesn't matter the inviability or whatever. So let's get the heck out of it. Let's kill those first. Because that was me basically just attempting to break in repeatedly. Well, that's not good. Hold on. Hacknet project? Hold on. Insec. Yeah. Okay, hold on. The Insec Enviability in Enviability project is an OS level security layer in which all authentication attempts and admin commands pass. Provides a uniquely protective layer of security for systems against all conventional and unconventional penetration and security breaching methods. It aims to be completely transparent to end users, except in the case of emergency updates, which are maintained by NTech on a subscription basis and provide absolute security to sensitive and confidential systems. Paired with the HackNet project, which seeks to demonstrate the flaws in current security systems, NTech shows clearly why it should and will be the new accepted minimum standard in true digital security. Well, that sucks because I cannot break into any of these environability ones. Um, let's take this, let's take this stuff. NSEC and viability pro Ooh. Okay. And then let's SCP NSEC core. Just on the off chance we need it. I really don't think we will. Um, and then hacknet project. What's the hacknet project? Command connect. If you use the wrapper over remote connection channels, usually SSH, to combine connection methods to external services. Command should scan available ports, accorded services, and find a valid connection method, then use it, wrapping the output to emulate a standardized connection. In effect, HackNet's connection method should appear universal and standardized when beneath it is capable of using all common and more uncommon methods. Dude, so HackNet should just open all ports and let me in no matter what. Um, that's crazy. Test guide. Aside from connecting between workstations and many servers, we also need to support connecting to wireless and restricted OS devices. Our test plan includes connection services to several mobile devices and some cracked in other by default. These devices are synced to the Prometheus server by support staff. And if you need one for testing, viewing physical output, you should be able to connect from anywhere. Contact the server team. Uh, given the sensitive nature of the HackNet project and the strictness of the NDA everyone is involved under, inquiries to feature change requests, management discussions should go through the HackNet management mail relay. Um, okay. 
This will send to all valid personnel who can contact you personally back if it's relevant to their field. That does not seem very secure, like on the off chance. Um, mobile and wireless devices using Technic Hasnex connection module are to be synced to this server. Okay, so we occasionally wipe them all just in case, but it's best to do it right from here. Do not pair them with other machines. Devices scattered around desks a lot as people work with them, and if they run out of power, we need to wipe and sync them again. Always do it from Prometheus. So just use connect command. Well, SCP hacknet net core DLL. I could take all of these instructions with me, but I don't think I care other than maybe the test guide. HN underscore connect. HN underscore connect underscore doc. And then instead of doc, we'll take test guide. All right, super duper duper dope. Okay. Let's check our email, but let's first delete all our logs. Get the hell off the server. So we know what he was working on. He was working on this hacknet project that will basically auto hack whatever. Hold on. Wait, 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 V. Oh, V is Vapor, and so we know who he is. Are you seeing this network? There's new security scattered around through almost anything, but I'm picking my way through it. There's still a few holes, but progress is slow. Attach the IP I'm looking into now. From the side I'm coming at it, I can't get any cracks in it yet. Are you having any luck? If you find an IMN pass, reply to this email with it. I get the feeling the server is a key to where Bit fits into all of this. The talk of this hacknet project showing up is kind of worrying too. Have you ever heard of that? A whole EOS rewrite. We can look into that later. For now, let's see if you can find a way into this relay. All right, we'll work toward our next step after that. I'd probably look through the production and store servers, Prometheus and Romulus. It might be a way through. I already know though. Didn't I just get into this? Isn't this where I just was? Yeah, let's see. Do I have this password? Is this what it was? Is this the D? 88VANNX. Nope, I do not have this password. Probe file system. Proxy bypassed. I didn't bypass the proxy, did I? Oh, yeah, I did. I was messing around with this. Let's try admin again. D88VANNX. No, so I don't have this. Um, Where's the Prometheus server that I was just on? Connect 156, 151, 11. Um, and I own this server, right? Uh, frick, there isn't. All right, let's log in. All right, um, now, scan. Mail server, okay. Um, where did that go? There's so many things. Oh, there it is. There's so many things lighting up on my map. It's ridiculous. Let's go here. All right. Um, list. Duh. So we've got the mail server, but that doesn't help us any. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Go back. Go back to Ian Prometheus. Um, we need to ls. Do we log in again? And then we need to do the EOS thing because they said that EOS devices would be on this network. Right? Other stuff? Let's see. <sighs> Two devices. Okay, so in his test two phone. Where's the first one? No. Um, this is the worst. Like they're oh they're right next to each other. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Alright, let's go to test phone one. This is gonna be um Admin. Gonna be Alpine. Alright. US stuff. Apps. Dude, do 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 dude. Playing games on your work phone, buddy. You shouldn't be doing that. Passes. One, two, three, one, one, three. Device is secured as a standard uncracked uh, ePhone 4S. Connection should fail. Since there's no open terminals connection methods. Okay. 
somebody sync their email to it. Got some core bull crap. Got some logs, got some sys. Okay, so like, I don't understand. This doesn't seem to have anything useful on it. I should delete his save file, so long. If you're playing games on your work phone, you should start over. I just deleted that season pass. I am a savage. Okay, so that was super dumb, and I don't need to do that, but I did anyway. Um, maybe passes.txt is useful. This is not, though. Connection should fail without standard outside influence. Okay, I don't really know what that means, so we're just going to pretend that I do. Delete all of those, and then we're going to go to the second phone and see. Maybe the second phone is the one that has the evidence on it. I don't know. Okay. Uh, boop. 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 This dude's playing Extreme Booty on his work phone. Extreme Booty, no survivors. Um, I'll worry about that now. Um, HN. Geared as a custom cracked iPhone, should succeed as the connection has already been altered to allow SSH connections. This device is deliberately insecure for testing purposes. It should not connect to any internal services or mail systems. It should not store any sensitive testing or development data. Um, remote concentration, ASDF, ASDF, are writing remotely. Remote test two. So it's successively being written to remotely. Um, There's like nothing in here, man, other than baby zombie and booty ninja or whatever. Um, so that's that's kind of sad. So there's no evidence on any of these yet. Um, we find our way into this relay. We'll probably find our next step after that. Can I just reply to this? Yeah. Okay. I didn't think so. Um, Shoot, what should be my next step here? We have a Romulus password. I'm actually gonna log back into this, hold on. I wanna type this. Maybe he just wants this password that I have. I don't think so, but I'm gonna do it anyway. D, 88, V, A, N, N, X. Yeah, all right, I figured. Okay, so let's read this email again. Um, Hacknet project is kind of worrying. Um, find a way into this relay. We'll work on our next steps after that. So we need to figure out how to get into the internal contact. What we really need is a login and password to this nonsense, which we do not have. And, okay, it's got their security on it, so that doesn't help us at all. Um, workstation 8 got us into this guy. And from that, we got into a couple of phone devices, but none of the phone devices had anything going on. So the phone devices basically just had this crap on it. Um, huh. But I don't have, I don't have the HackNet program. Can I just do connect? Ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 Go back to the file system. Go back to read. Hackna command should just scan available for us and find it. Um, so let's try something. Let's just try bip, bip, bip. Let's go to this. I like how everything in this world is IP addresses. 59, 35. Oh, well, yeah, that's, thanks for nothing, man. Um, all right, so let's connect to Prometheus one more time. Look at the file system. Let's log in, because we actually have a username here. File system. Um, 
Yeah, all right, the DLL doesn't help us. Um, gotta be something. Let me think for a minute here. I'm having a minute. I'm having a moment. Um, let's go back to the phones because the two phones, one of the, they didn't have anything on them. So let's log into this guy because we know what its password is. We got going on. Like this one, it warned us not to connect to mail, but this guy did. So like, hold on. Let's take that note. Let's just take. Let's just take his email. So it's N. Stanford at ntech.com and the PS word Murloc 33. This guy plays World of Warcraft. Bless him. All right. So, like, huh. All right. So, that didn't really help us. I don't think. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Entech. Didn't we have their mail server earlier? Like, just give me a second here. Workstation. Workstation, workstation core. I swear we had their workstation. Or didn't we have their mailing service? Hold on, was that sent to me in an email? Contractor relay web server give me a minute here I'm gonna look through all of these and tech Zeus mail server I knew that we had it so let's use our new login let's just see if this works I mean we might as well randomly try and stand forward at ntech.com cool Password, Murloc33. N Stanford, Stanford, ntech.com. Password, retry. N Stanford. I really want to believe that it's not Stanford, that I just type Stanford. Okay, Stanford at ntech.com. Password of Murloc33. N Stanford. Dude, did I mess this up super hard or what? N Stanford. Oh, hold on. N Stanford. Never mind. N Stanford. I gotta. This has gotta be right, right? N Stan. De Ford Murloc 32. All right, and Stanford Murloc 33. Well, you're a butthead, and you make me mad, and I don't know how to fix this. Um, back. Cause wait, yeah, cause we're Entech mail server, right? Cause he's at Entech.com, so that's got to be right. All right. Um. Hmm. N Stanford. You're the worst, and you make me very sad. All right, all right, all right. This is obviously a dead end. I don't need this anymore. I'm going to call this episode for here. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Maybe we'll figure this out. I'm getting closer. It's just uh, mysteries on top of mysteries on top of mysteries. All right. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys soon.